This is a demonstration of my Arduino dishwasher. I'm going to try and capture the whole cycle this time. Here it is um, idle. It's just a clock. Uh, I still haven't uh, finalized the setup, but it's controlled by an Arduino. Um, there's the relay board, or relay control board. The relays are actually run through a Cat5 cable down under the dishwasher. I got the uh, high voltage AC down here, separated from the logic up, up above. This is a Maytag dishwasher. This control panel died, so I'm going to cut out a square hole for the LCD right here. This LCD will stick out, and there'll be a start and cancel button right next to it. <coughs> um, so I guess we'll. There's a start button temporarily right there. I'll let my wife go ahead and press that. Okay, you can hear the water running down here. And cycle time, zero minutes. The temperature is reading at 66 degrees. It should go up because the water is already hot. Um, and it's filling. We'll come back when it gets ready to transition to the next cycle. Okay, it's almost done filling. Uh, it's slowly going up in water temperature. There's a little bit of jitter in there, but not by much. Washing the dishes. You can hear the big motor running in here. And uh, two minutes into the cycle. Water's at 79 degrees. It's running the heater, so that'll go up. It'll keep washing the dishes until it hits 155 or 156 degrees. Um, it takes about an hour. It goes up about one degree a minute. We're 40 minutes into this. Or, yeah, 40 minutes into the cycle. It's above 130. The soap door should have popped open at about 121. I'm gonna go ahead and pop it open pop open the main door and make sure that the soap dispensed. It's got a cut off switches here. Yes, the soap door is open and my camera's fogged up. Okay, we're getting really close. We're at 154. 155. We're really close now. First twitch to 156 and it'll be done. 156. Oh, it should be done right now. There it goes. Training. It will drain for a minute and 45 seconds. It's about how long it takes to drain the thing completely. Okay, it's full. Ten minute pre rinse. Okay, that's been ten minutes. Now it's draining out the, the pre rinse. In my experiments, I found that if I didn't do a pre-rinse, it left a little bit of food residue on the dishes. So, 10 minutes to just scrub all the food down back into the water so it can drain that out. And then it does the actual rinse. It's now refilling for the final rinse. It should be done here in a moment. There it goes. Final rinse. It'll run, it's got the heater on, and it'll run until it hits 140 degrees, or 141, gets above 140. And then it'll drain and it'll be done. It's very close to being done with the final rinse. Once it gets to 141, it will uh, drain. As soon as it gets to 141, it'll, there we go, we did it. Draining. Okay, this is the final drain. So 
took about an hour and 50 minutes to wash the dishes. We'll be down here in a moment. There we go. Drying clean dishes. Now it will uh, sit in this mode um, with the uh, there's a little vent in the door right here, and uh, near as I can tell, it's just a solenoid that opens the vent um, to let the steam out. It draws three watts of power. So I've got the code set to keep that vent open until the temperature gets down to like 120 or so. I'd have to look at the code to remember exactly. The uh, original uh, control in the dishwasher would say 30 minutes remaining when it got to this drying phase. So not exactly sure how long it's going to take. I've this first time through. As soon as it ticks down to 114, it'll call it done. There's actually a glitch in the uh, the sketch right now, so that uh, it clears the screen after it, it would normally print the dishes are clean down here but it clears the screen before it starts displaying the time again so it gets wiped off I've ordered a tilt sensor so it can keep track of when the door gets opened and the clean dishes are put away so I'm going to fix it when I add that there we go cycles done dishwasher's completely off there we go clean dishes Ugh, fogged up my lens again <laughs> 